Welcome to another TIBCO video tutorial. This is the TIBCO guy, Jason Samoliano from Smarter Incorporated. In today's video tutorial, I will show you how to create a custom function in TIBCO Designer. And this is particularly useful if there's a certain thing you'd like to do that you're not able to do with the the existing activities given to you in TIBCO Designer or if there's something that you'd like to be able to redo, reuse over and over in your inputs to your activities. This is going to be very, very useful to you. Basically, I'm going to show you how to create a Java custom function. Okay, remember that term if you're not familiar with that. This is very important in TIBCO development. Very few TIBCO developers actually know how to do this. So if you learn how to do this, you're going to be part of the elite. So let, let's go ahead and go into our designer tool here. Go into the Hello World process that we created many, many months ago. If you haven't watched my Hello World tutorial, the video tutorial for Hello World, and you know nothing about TIBCO Designer yet, you need to watch that first, okay? So let's go into the write file activity. I just want to take you to an activity that has an input tab because I want to take you into this here. Click on the text content. I want to take you to this, this XPath Formula Builder. So this basically expands the element input text box here. Notice there's data, functions, and constants. Go to the functions tab and notice that you have a set of, you have numerous functions you can choose from that you can use that TIBCO already built for you and it's really, really nice. But what if there is a function you'd like to, you'd like to have but it's not located here? What do you do? How do you expand the list of functions uh, given to you in your XPath Formula Builder so that you can reuse that certain function, custom function, over and over again? I'll show you how to do that in today's tutorial. Okay, so you should be delighted here because very few typical developers know how to do this, actually. So, let's move on. Let's go ahead and follow along with me here the first thing we have to do let's create a folder let's call this one Java inside the Java folder please create a Java custom function alright so, notice that we have to load a Java class into this Java custom function shared resource in order for it to be completely filled out. So, what you gotta do, you first have to create a Java class. And in here, I created a Java class, a very, very simple class called greeting. And there's one function called create greeting, and this is what we're going to use. This is going to be our custom function for the day. And it takes up a, takes in a one string parameter called name. And ba basically it's very simple. If you know Java, this is a piece of cake. All it does is say hello and whatever name you pass into it. And you'll notice that there's also some documentation here. I encourage you to pause the video and examine this closely because this is very important. You do not want to create a custom function and add it into the expat formula builder list and then there's no documentation for it. That wouldn't be helpful to anyone. So I encourage you to take a look at the documentation provided for the Java custom function by right clicking on it and say what is this. And that should bring up the, the browser that will take you to the TIBCO palette reference, taking you to the Java custom function documentation provided by TIBCO BW and designer. There's some, a few rules here that you have to follow. Okay, I'd let you, I'll let you read that. It's very self-explanatory. It even has an example. So please take a look at that 
at your at your leisure. So let's go ahead, go back to our Java custom function here. I've created this, and now I have it saved right here in this directory. All I have to do now is to compile it. So I have a command prompt here, and I'm going to say Java C and greeting dot Java. Okay, Click enter. And if it has errors, it'll tell you it has errors. But since this one it does not have errors, it created a Java a greeting dot class. All right. So now that we have that class, let's add it. Let's load it into our Java custom function in Designer. Let's call this one greeting, and I'm going to give it the same prefix so that I can differentiate it from the others that are already in typical designer. I'm going to specify the class location. I'm going to browse for it. Where is that thing? Local C. It's under, I forgot. <laughs> the typical projects, Java codes. Okay. Let's see. Typical projects, Java Java source codes. There you go. Greeting dot class. Let's click open. Now that you have the class location, let's click on load. Notice that it loaded the class into the Java custom function. Click apply. I now have a Java custom function. Le I created a folder called Java custom function here and I already created an empty process. So follow along with me. We're going to simply write this into a file. A simple process here. In here, we're going to say the file is going to be C hello world. Okay. Or let's, let's call it something else. Let's get create greeting because there's a hello world from a previous tutorial. Create greeting.txt. Now, Here's here's how you use the Java custom function that you created. Go to the XPath formula builder, and now you'll notice that you have a greeting folder here that wasn't there before. And click on create greeting function, and notice there's some documentation. Very nice. Drag it there and put your name in there. So here, I'm going to say Jason. My name there. Click apply, close, apply. Let's connect the dots. Okay, make this a little bit pretty by aligning them. And check everything. Validation successful. Save and let's see what happens. Click start. Load and start current. Will it work? Let's take a peek. All green. Let's go to the C drive. Okay. Let's see. C drive. Go over to where is that thing? Create greeting that txt. And there you have it. Hello Jason. Hello plus the name that was passed. And we have a successful use of the Java custom function. Okay? So that's how you use a Java uh, this is how you create a new function, a custom function in typical designer, you basically create a Java custom function. You have to write the Java code yourself, load it into the Java custom function resource, and then use it in your XPath formula builder. All right, is that clear? So I encourage you to go back to this video if, if this was a, ha a, a mouthful to, to digest in just one watching. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you again for all the wonderful comments in YouTube. All right, this is Jason Samoyano of Smarter Incorporated, your neighborhood TIBCO guy. Have a wonderful day, everybody.